Hi, welcome back. This is segment number two of our uh, dove ornament uh, that we have here. So this is what we're working on and um, I see something a little different than I didn't do before and that's putting this in like that. So let's put that in right now. See the little neck there? I forgot to put that in when I did the bandsaw cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down straight and then follow that up the, with a cut. Okay? Just like that. Perfect. Alright? That gives it a bit of a loop. Um, I was do, trying to do it from memory and that didn't work so good. So that's one thing we need to do is make a little loop there. Alright? So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to follow this with a stop cut. Now a stop cut is simply putting one line down a little bit of a depth to it and then following it up on one side or the other where that cut should stop just like so see just like that we're going to go this way same way and we're going to make that cut a little bit deeper so let's take that see how we have that V cut in there okay we're going to follow that out a little bit more again, just a little bit, and we're going to follow that up again, okay? Just like that. Now this grain is running this way, so it makes it a little difficult. You're going to go against the grain once in a while, just like so. I also have it where it comes in towards the center. So all this is going to come off. Just chop that up, put a stop cut down across, and slice it out just like so. Okay, and then go around and do the other side. We're going to put that stop cut in. You don't have to make it real deep, maybe a, a um, sixteenth of an inch or so. Just be careful. Make sure you wear your gloves, okay? Your carving glove. And we're going to follow that on one side. And we're going to flip it over. We're going to follow it with that tip of the knife. Just follow that line until you get it out like that. Okay? And I'm going to clean that up again. Go back and forth once. And do it again. So, Alright. And then we're going to chop this out. Just like that. We're going to put a little stop cut. We're going to chop that out just like that. Alright. Now this is a little square at the top, so I need to trim some of that off. Just like so. Okay. Maybe a little further. Okay. Now what you're going to do is you're, you see that this is slanted out a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to blend that in a little bit. Just like that. Alright, we're going to do the other side the same way. We're going to blend that all in from one side to the other. Alright. And we're just going to trim that off so it doesn't look so rough. Just one little line going across. I'm going to take those sharp edges off. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's that's the um, that's the wing. So now we're going to cut this off. We're just going to round it off, just like so. All right. And round the other side off, just the bottom portion, and match it up to that beak. Okay. So all you did is one side and, and the other side. You're going to turn this around. and You're going to do it up to the tail, just like that. Okay. Same thing, you're going to go around that bottom part of him and go up just like that. Same thing here, you're going to just take those edges off. Now see how you had to turn this around? Turn around and go the other way, just like so. Alright, you're going to go around and you're going to do the other side here. Alright. And blend it all together. 
this kind of stays square, but we're going to take that little point off there. Okay, see how it's shaping up? Now we're going to go from the head here. We're going to go, since the grain is running this, we're going to flip it around. Let's see how I just chipped that up. Just match it up and match that down. And do the other side. It's a really quick project, folks, and these aren't cute to make for a Christmas tree ornament. They don't take a lot of time to do. So what you want to do is go back over every cut and try to round everything off a little bit. Okay. Just want to round up the edges. That's all you're doing. And um, I made, I don't know, 40, 50 of these one time when I first started to carve. They were cute little things to make. They were easy to make. Uh, I gave them to my friends and family at Christmas time. They wouldn't cost you a lot but your time. Okay, so that's pretty well how we did it. And then we blend this in a little bit too here at the bottom. Let's go this way down. It's a very simple project. Give it some three dimension look to it. If you have not done any carving, this is kind of a nice little project to do in one night, you know, in one sitting. Alright, so we'll be back and we'll finish them up. Alright, bye-bye.